Now it's time to learn how to record our screen while accessing our webcam. So let's go ahead and select screen recorder. We already went over all of these, but we left out this one last option for this lesson, which is your webcam. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to make sure your camera is not covered and just hit this button once and you're going to get your webcam accessed. So with the webcam, you can just drag it all around. And while you're recording your screen, this will be in there as well. So you don't need to uh, record yourself separately and then record your screen as well. Put them together. You can do it all in one go. So if I'm showing a tutorial on how to edit a video, I can just turn this on and my face will be in the corner or any other location that I want. So similar to your recording screen, you can uh, get the corners here and just make them bigger or smaller, depending on your preference. And just put them where you want your video to go. I'm going to turn these off and now let's see what that looks like using the webcam. Let's go ahead and start recording. There we go, let's do a few clicks. And then we're going to stop recording. So my webcam is gone. And now I have this screen recording. Let's hit the plus to add it to my timeline, keep the project settings. And there we are, we have the screen recording and the webcam all in one go. We did our clicks and it's all there. Another way that you can use your webcam for your screen recordings is by going in your uh, the My Media tab, then Project Media. Let's first increase this window. There we go. So go to Import right here. Make sure Import is selected, then go to this Record tab and go to record from webcam. So I'm going to get this window and this is for times where you have a separate video and you just want uh, a webcam over it. Before we get into this, let's get a sample video. I'm going to delete this. Go to sample video, get something. Let's get an audio while we're here. Put it right here. So I want to record my webcam and just put it somewhere in the corner where I can explain what's happening in the video. And I can do just that by going to My Media. And it doesn't matter which folder you're in, just go to Import, Record, Record from Webcam. There we go. So this is live recording. We have Video Device, which is where you get to choose uh, the devices that you have, which is basically the camera that you have. Usually there should be one unless you have another input plugged in. Otherwise, you would just have one option. We have the resolution of your uh, webcam. You can change that right over here. Similar to recording your screen, if the dimensions are small, then that means that your video quality is going to be less compared to if it were to be, let's say this. So I'm just going to click this, the highest quality. We're going to again take a look at what happens when we get a low resolution and a low frame rate. I'm first going to try the high quality and then we're going to move to the lower quality. We have audio device, which is your microphone. Again, if you have something plugged in, it will show up here. If you don't, it's just going to show you your uh, device's microphone. So go ahead and choose whichever you'd like. And then finally, we have frame rate, which we talked about in the previous lesson. It's the same thing as recording your screen, except the maximum FPS that we can choose is 30 FPS. So the lowest number here is one FPS, which is very bad. So you can just choose from one to 30 when it comes to your webcam. So I'm going to choose the highest number for both of these. So we can see the difference between a high quality webcam recording and a low quality. Let's hit live recording. And it's going to count to uh, from three. And I'm just gonna do little movement so we can see the uh, how it shows up in our video. Once you're done, just hit this. 
and you can do this multiple times. Now we're going to do this with a really bad uh, resolution. So resolution, let's bring it down to the lowest dimension possible. And you can see we got a little bit of a wider screen. Let's choose one FPS and let's do uh, hit the button. We're going to do some movements as well. Just move around and we can see what the difference is between these two. Let's, uh, hit the stop button and then hit OK. So I have two videos. Let's go ahead and rename. I will right click rename, call this high FPS. Just going to check that real quick. Go to properties. So this is the one with the higher FPS. Hit OK. And let's rename the other one low FPS. Renaming your footage is a great way to keep things organized in your project media. I'm also going to name this real quick. And when it comes to footage that looks similar, like our two webcams, renaming them can help you differentiate them. Let's get high FPS. Just put it right here. And I'm going to double click to put it in the corner. Grab one of the uh, corners to make it smaller. Maybe do this if you want to uh, change the width and the height, you would have to grab one of these for the width and this one for the height. But make sure you don't distort your footage. Once you're done, just place it wherever you want. And this one had audio. I'm just going to right click and mute this. I have also muted the audio track right here by clicking this uh, audio icon. Let's play this back and you can see how uh, everything's running smoothly. My hands are not glitching in any way and I just have my movements there. This is possible because of our high FPS and resolution. Let's make the underlying video a bit longer so we can compare the movements. Um, this is too short. Let's go for this one. Just a random sequence here. So I'm going to play this again and we can see it's uh, in relevance to the video in the back. You can see it's running in real time and that's really important. And it ends once uh, it finishes. And we cannot extend this as we learned in previous lessons because it has a set duration. If you want more content, you would have to just go at the end here and then go back to record from webcam and it's going to record and then show up in your project media like this one and you can just drag it on right here so this is the one with the lower fps let's first mute this i'm going to double click and uh, let's make a new video track add video just press this button bring this on top so i can make it the same size Double click, grab one of the corners and just make this uh, around the same size. We kind of distorted the first video. It's okay. Hit okay. And now we're going to hit this eye icon for the high FPS video to get rid of it. So now, uh, not to get rid of it, just to get rid of the visibility. Now we just have the one with low FPS and let's see how this is with real-time video. So you can see it's like glitching even though the video is moving smoothly. Now why is this happening? It's not because of the resolution but because of the FPS that we chose. So it's almost as if we have like um, a bunch of pictures. Let's see how long this is. Uh, right click on the video and it's eight seconds. So basically it's like we have eight photos placed next to each other rather than having a video. So it's really important to not choose a low FPS or else you're going to get a glitching video like the one we have here. I'm going to delete this little bit. Now I'm just going to place them next to each other. Just double click on each one. Increase the size so we can see them, um, compare them to each other. Trying to get the same size here. So this is low FPS. This is high FPS. Let's add a text. 
so it's easy to so it's easy to differentiate I'm just gonna grab something go to plain text nothing too fancy add a video track first and get a text Do that, ILO, and just I'm gonna hit OK. Bring this dude, double click it, just bring it here. So now you know which one's high, which one's low, and let's take a look at how at how these videos look next to each other. Let's go back. So as you can see, let's go back here. The first video, hi, I'm just moving around. My hands are moving, My, uh, I'm talking as well, but the low FPS, it's almost as if you have bad internet connection and you're on a Zoom call. So it's really important to choose a high FPS and that way you will not get any glitches like we are over here. It's not looking so good. So let's keep that in mind once we're choosing the settings for our webcam. Let's go ahead and delete all of these. I'm gonna go back here and, and choosing these settings can also change the size of your video. So I'm going to select this, right click, come down to properties. And we can see this is around five megabytes, 4.97 megabytes. And if I go on the low FPS one, right click properties, we have less than one megabyte and that's pretty low, but we know the reason why it's because it has one FPS, one frames per second or FPS. All right. So now let's go ahead and attempt to make a tutorial from our Filmora workspace using the screen recorder and the webcam that we learned how to use. So I'm just going to delete all of these so we can start fresh, right click, delete. We need a project first, mine is untitled. Let's go ahead and hit uh, record right here. We're gonna go to record screen directly because you can also get your uh, webcam using the screen recorder. So I'm just going to move the webcam window right here. I'm going to open up the settings, make sure we have a high FPS. And I also want to show the clicks with this yellow circle. I'm going to change my hotkeys again. Let's go for command edge. I also have mouse clicks uh, turned on the sound. I will also turn this on and the microphone as well. So we're going to be creating a full tutorial using what we learned so far. And that way we can maybe export it for our YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and hit this red button. There we go. So now this is recording. I will go to Filmora, my untitled project. I'm going to do a few clicks right here. Let's go ahead and get an audio. I'm going to get this guy right here. Make sure you unmute this. We did this previously. Unmute it and I will also get, let's get a video. Right here. And I can always just drag this webcam and put it somewhere else because I'm trying to show something here. I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to get a second video so we have a nice sequence so now i have my tutorial let's do a few clicks and i'm going to play this all right so that was my tutorial i'm going to hit command edge the hut key that we determined when we were starting the recording and now i have this tutorial piece in my project media I'm going to drag it right here and I can just go ahead and maybe remove a bunch of things that I don't need. So now that I have this, I will go ahead and first of all, let's take a look at the file alone. We have two screencasts right here. I'm going to open this one. If I play this back, skip through, everything is in real time. My screen recording and my webcam are live. Let the click sounds as well. And this is a great way to create tutorials as we saw here. 
and to know whether you are your screen recorder is uh, recording or not you can always just take a look at you can take a look at up here right now if you look over here once I click away you can see there's this red icon that means means that it's recording and it's live right now there isn't that icon because we're no longer recording and I'm going to go back to my film more workspace and it's the same thing here if I want to continue editing maybe trim something I can just do that and now I'm just going to jump back to our screen recorder, this time with the webcam turned off. I just want to show you guys how you can tell that Filmora is recording and how you can pause your recording. Up here we can see this icon. If that's up there, it means that you're ready to go. All you have to do is to hit this red button to start. And we have our frame set. All I have to do is just hit that button. I'm just going to reset my hotkeys and then we will be able to start recording. Okay, as you can see up here, we have this thing and it's red, meaning that I just need to pause this in order for this to stop. If I hit Control M, which is what we set for uh, pause and resume, you can see it turned into this pause button. Hit Control M again and we get the uh, recording back. Now let's hit Control H to stop our recording. And all right, now that we know how to screen record, use our webcam, it's now time to move on to the third element of additional recordings, which is using a voiceover for your projects.